so welcome back guys now we will discuss gary osteomyelitis which is another variant of osteomyelitis this was discovered by dr car gary after which this osteomyelitis is named the very special feature about this osteomyelitis is that unlike other osteomyelitis in this you have periosteum proliferation what does it mean is for example this is a bone and in this bone inside of it which we have a bone marrow and this bone marrow is lined by a very special membrane right this membrane is known as endosteum and the membrane which is lying outside of the bone this membrane is known as peri osteum now as i told you in the first class that the difference between osteitis and osteomyelitis is in osteitis you have inflammation of periosteum and cortical bone of this region because of that there is a swelling there is proliferation of periosteum this is your osteitis inflammation of cortical bone what is osteomyelitis osteomyelitis is inflammation of bone marrow in which you do not have any swelling in this case or inflammation of bone marrow as well as cortical bone right so this is bone marrow only inflammation and basically cancellous bone or you can say cancellous bone inflammation and this is cancellous plus cortical bone inflammation these conditions known as osteomyelitis where the bone marrow is inflamed or it is involving cortical bone also but what happen in osteomyelitis is you have inflammation in your bone marrow or superiosteal area this region and you have proliferative inflammation of cortical bone there is a proliferation in the cortical bone this is known as gary osteomyelitis and why does this happen what actually happen is you know as i told you that if there is infection what does body will do body will try to prevent it or limit it and how do body do that either it make a lot of fibrous tissue around it or basically soft tissue or also known as granulation tissue or what does body do in response to ongoing inflammation ongoing infection body will form bone around it also known as sclerotic bone this condition is known as this is most of the time this end up into forming granuloma and this will form proliferative bone and proliferation of 
sclerotic on because of this ongoing infection the infection in this case will be a chronic infection which is not a large infection it's a mild slow chronic infection which irritate the normal immune system of the bone which in response to which bone will form sclerotic bone around it in response to that and form proliferation of periosteum but since in this scenario which bone because of periosteum which bone will proliferate cancellous bone right because outside what you have here this is all your cancellous bone so how do cancellous bone will proliferate a one layer will form that right? then another layer will form then another layer will form then another layer will form multiple layer in a stepwise manner will form and because of this what does it look like how does this appearance look like this appearance look like as onion peel appearance onion peel appearance you can see here this is onion peel appearance uh, one bone is formed then another bone is formed then another layer of bone is formed then another layer of bone is formed but since it's a slow going infection on histology also you will see that there is a new bone formation appearance in histology right so clinically what does patient complain to you patient will complain to since it's infection patient will complain to you pain swelling depending on the stage it can be mild to moderate or it can be severe and if it has severe pathology you will have facial deformity but since swelling is due to bone growth the swelling is going to be bony hard rather than rather than soft swelling soft swelling will be present in separate osteomyelitis so this osteomyelitis is non separative so this is known as this is also known as chronic because there is a chronic infection non separative osteo me like this i hope remember this name there is another name for this kind of pathology the another name for gariostomelitis is the another name for gariostomelitis is peri ostitis oc f Gains. What did it mean? Periosteum, periosteal, periostitis, periphery of the bone, inflammation of periphery of the bone, which get ossified. There is a new bone formation or ossification in periphery. this new bone formation in periphery 
of bone which is undergoing inflammation right so these are the some other name and how this is how you remember it correct so there is no pus discharge another feature for this kind of lesion is there is no foul smell so mouth not always but almost almost always associated with carious tooth ostomblitis can occur because of another cause of infection other than a carious tooth but most of the time it is carious tooth only right what other feature who all are involved in this kind of scenario child and young adult males are equally more prevalent in females initially we used to believe that male are more prevalent than female because of poor oral habits in males but nowadays females are equally you know we shouldn't be generalizing that right males and females are equal nowadays and females also start having the habits of smoking and drinking so it is equally common in females also mandible is more commonly affected by carious stomatitis than maxilla right and posterior mandible is more affected than anterior this is a very common pattern which is followed in almost all of the pathology so personality with some infectious thing you can just most of the time most of the time right you if you have no idea what to write just write posterior mandible in males mild fever mild to moderate fever is associated because it's a fraction on radiograph on lab diagnosis you will also have elevated sedimentation rate because it's a infection it's common in all of them so how do we treat it on histology i told you on histology you will find new bone formation increase osteoblast stick activity what could be the treatment for these case treatment is very similar to other osteomyelitis treat the cause if possible if you have carious tooth and if possible do the endodontic treatment and if not possible do the extraction after that proper curettage in the bridement of an infected bone what about the proliferative part the proliferative part will resolve on its own and if patient complain that there is a large swelling because of proliferation of periosteite proliferation of periosteum then in that case surgical approach can be used surgical sutureization or you can say surgical correction can be done to to treat any facial asymmetry otherwise it is self limiting as long as cause is treated and it will eventually regress so this is carious osteomyelitis so that's it for today we will meet again guys in next class
page out.